Today we are going to start straight away with a question. How do we convert electricity to sound? And let me tell you, if you know the basic principles of magnetism, you already have the principle of working behind this. But before that, let me take you back to 1860 when people had not figured out yet how to do that. This is the first recording ever done in history that we have. It is a French folk song recorded back in 1860, but at that time, it was possible to record the voice in graphical format, but people were not able to convert it back to sound. And the device they used to record this audio was known as phonautograph. Now this graphical form of recording was converted to electrical signals and then to sound or audio in 2008 because now we have speakers that can effectively convert electrical signals to sound. But first we have to ask a question, how is sound actually produced? And we have to understand the answer of this question before understanding the mechanism of how a speaker works. In one line, sound is all about vibrations. A drum can produce sound only when it is hit by a drummer. A guitar produces music and beats when the guitarist vibrates the strings. And similarly, a speaker produces the audio through the vibrations. And to know how it happens, we have to look inside it. If we open up a typical speaker, we will find a conical structure inside it. I think you may already have seen this. Now we have to expand it more to understand the working. If we talk about the parts, we have a diaphragm attached to a coil, a magnet and a metal cap. These are the main parts which we need to care about now. But other than that, there is a suspension which keeps the system aligned and centrally placed. Now when we connect our phone to a speaker, the audio signal travels through the cable and it looks like this. These signals are the different levels of current. As you can see from this graph, at different timestamps, we have a different variation in current. Now the question is, how does it help us? And the answer lies in the construction which goes like this. The coil is placed in the space we have in between the circular magnet and it is connected with the cable which is coming from phone or any music playing device. As the current travels in the wire and then to the coil, the coil starts behaving like a magnet because of which the north and south poles are generated as per the direction of current. This is specifically given a term, magnetic effect of current. If you have a wire which is having a current flowing in it, that means that wire has a potential to behave like a magnet. Now if you are well aware of the behavior of a magnet, it is obvious that like poles will ripple and as a result, the coil will be displaced out of the magnet. If the current reverses, the polarity of the coil will change as well. And as a result, it will be displaced in the opposite direction. Now look at the audio signal. You can notice that there are a number of changes in the magnitude of current. It keeps on changing. So according to the magnitude of current, there is a variation in the force experienced by the coil in both the directions. As the magnitude of current keeps on changing continuously, the magnitude of force on the coil also varies accordingly. And this results in the vibration of the coil at its place. Now this coil is attached with the diaphragm. So what does that imply? 
the diaphragm will also vibrate with the coil with almost the same amplitude right and this vibration results in sound that we can hear because sound is all about vibrations now if we go for a little more information the audio is passed through an amplifier first which increases the magnitude of voltage level or current level uniformly and releases it to a band pass filter the work of this filter is to separate low frequency signals with the high frequency one and both of them are passed through separate coils and diaphragm and this results in a more clear sound quality so this is how electricity is converted to sound and next time whenever you are having an earphone or a speaker in your hand just have a belief that you are holding an amazing application of magnetic effect of current and we should be thankful to physics magnetism and the persons who discovered it and i should be especially thankful to you for watching